With the potential of winter weather comes busy grocery store aisles as shoppers stock up their pantries. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Kelly O'Neill. KNWA's Katie Davila caught up with the local store to see how they're preparing. All it takes is one weather forecaster to mention that word snow or ice and it's a whole different game for us. When the threat of winter weather hits, shoppers start flooding in. If I know it's going to be really bad and I know I won't be able to get out because of ice, I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll get everything I need in one day. In grocery stores already. We start, I mean, almost immediately once they put that out, they're gearing up for the day that it's going to happen. You'd be surprised how many people, when it comes to that, rush to get fresh produce. I've got meat cutters that'll be working all day today just to keep up with it. Bread, milk, and eggs, some of the most common things we think to grab. But grocery managers like Dallas Gibbs say they must be prepared for the things you wouldn't expect to fill up carts. All the strange kind of things you don't think about an ice storm like ice cream. People love ice cream in the snow. It's kind of strange. Uh, soup, crackers, bread, lunch meat. As long as I have power, I'd like something warm to eat. It's cold outside. During winter weather, your kitchen isn't the only thing you need prepared. Before you hit the road, mechanics recommend having an emergency bag in your car that has things like extra clothes, shoes, an ice scraper, and things to keep yourself warm, like extra blankets. You never know what type of situation you're going to get in. So blankets, water, um, an air pump for maybe a flat tire, maybe a spare belt if you throw your belt off, stuff like that. Even if your trip is down the street to the grocery store, always make sure you're ready for the winter weather. In Fayetteville, Katie Devella, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Thank you, Katie. So far, there have been two church services canceled in Rogers tomorrow. The United Methodist Church in Rogers has canceled their 815 service as well as their Sunday school class Sunday morning. But the church says they will continue with their 1030 service as scheduled. An active list of all community closings is on our website, nwahomepage.com. In the River Valley tonight, a Fort Smith man is dead and a suspect is in custody following a shooting last night in Crawford County. According to Sheriff Ron Brown, it happened at the 1400 block of Sunnyside Road between Van Buren and Alma. The victim was identified as 33-year-old Kevin Getridge. When deputies arrived, they found Getridge on a bed covered in blood. Deputies initiated CPR, but he was pronounced dead on the scene. Police have arrested 36-year-old Miranda Rezinos on your screen. In connection to the murder, she lived at the residence where the shooting took place. Rosinos was booked into the Crawford County Detention Center on a first-degree murder charge. In Benton County, a precautionary boil order has been lifted for homeowners in Rogers. Due to routine maintenance to water storage tanks by the Benton County Water Authority, all customers who live east of Highway 12 Bridge were affected during the boil order. Uh, Benton County Water Authority Number 5 advised these residents to boil all water used for drinking, cooking, making ice, brushing teeth, or washing dishes for one minute before using. Staying in Benton County, the 16th annual Great Northwest Arkansas Model Train Show kicked off in Bentonville today. More than 150 tables of model trains and railroad memorabilia were there with those attending, having the chance to win door prize drawings. The annual event is an opportunity for model train enthusiasts to come together from all over Arkansas and collaborate on tracks and layouts that would otherwise be too large for our individual club locations and homes. Cars, engines, you name it. The older people have had trains exposed to them all their lives. The little kids love to see trains, and we want it to be a family event. Grand prize drawing winners today will get two round trip tickets on an excursion from Springdale to Van Buren on the A&M Railroad. In Fayetteville, it was a celebration of green, gold, and purple this afternoon as the 28th annual Mardi Gras parade kicked off here in Fayetteville. It was a colorful mix of beads, costume revelers, performance groups, and festive floats. Jason Sewell from our sister station, KNWA's Good Day NWA, hosted the family-friendly event that winded its way from the Fayetteville Square down to Dixon Street. It's super awesome. I mean, the kids get to come out here, you get beads, they throw candy, you get to check out the art show, you see the townspeople all having fun together. It's clean fun. The parade was hosted by the Committee for Fayetteville Mardi Gras. It's a nonprofit organization that donates a share of each year's proceeds to local charities. This year's recipient was Community Creative Center and the Wheelmobile. 
Around Arkansas, the Arkansas MLK Commission traveled to Selma, Alabama this morning for the 50, 54th annual Selma Bridge Jubilee Crossing. Thousands of people from across the nation will cross the Edmund Pettus Bridge from Selma into Montgomery on Sunday to recreate a pivotal moment in the civil rights movement. The Arkansas group left Little Rock this morning, making stops in Memphis, Tennessee, Tupelo, Mississippi, and Birmingham, Alabama. The commissioners were able to see where four little girls were bombed inside the 16th Street Baptist Church. They also heard from a man who spoke about Martin Luther King Jr. and the impact he made on the world. Words can't explain. To be able to uh, lock arms with individuals and, and a stranger you don't know, but that, to realize that they're here for the same common cause that you are. I cannot imagine what was going on then. And as I look back when I saw those people trying to get across that bridge and seeing people going against them at that time and wondering why. It's a miracle. We're just as free as anybody else. There have been events going on all week from parades and pageants to luncheons. Tomorrow is the big day where thousands come together to commemorate Bloody Sunday, which happened on March 7, 1965, when a group of African-American demonstrators gathered at Brown's Chapel to demand the right to vote. Two weeks later, Martin Luther King Jr. and thousands of civil rights protesters marched 49 miles from Selma to the state capital of Montgomery. This event prompted Congress to pass the Voting Rights Act. Every year, the event grows bigger and stronger as people pour in to show their support. Well, if you're getting food delivered tonight, you're a part of a large percentage of Americans. How this trend is changing the entire food industry, that's coming up. But first, Melissa. Well, you might want to get some food delivered tomorrow because we've got a winter weather advisory and it could get slick outside. We are expecting some accumulation. I'll show you who has the best chance of seeing some winter weather when we return. Closed captioning is sponsored by Air Control. If you have been injured in a tractor trailer wreck, call us today at 479 Justice or visit our website at ElliottSmithLaw.com. What makes Hardy's breakfast taste so great? We only use the best ingredients made by the best hands. I wonder what else those hands can do. Ooh, new coffee. Whoa. Try our new coffee. Yeah. Hardy's because it tastes better. And with great deals on all these Toyotas, you can make plans to go anywhere. Anywhere. Hello? During the Ready, Set, Go sales event, get $2,000 customer cash. Or qualified buyers get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2019 Highlander. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Brandy Riles talks about Vaser Lipo from Dr. Earl. It's always been something I thought about because I've always been very uncomfortable with my legs. When I visited Dr. Earl and heard about the Vaser Lipo, I asked a lot of questions and he really made me feel comfortable about it. It's been around three years since I've had the Vaser Lipo procedure. I feel like a new woman. I feel comfortable in shorts. I don't feel like I have to wear something that goes to my knees or below. I just, I'm comfortable in my own skin now. Call today for a free consultation. Home. That's the feeling we want you to have when you walk in the door at Cross Church. A true sense of family and community is waiting for you. With locations across Northwest Arkansas and Southwest Missouri, there is a Cross Church near you. We hope that you will join us this Sunday. So visit CrossChurch.com for more information. What makes Hardy's breakfast taste so great? We only use the best ingredients made by the best hands. I wonder what else those hands can do. Ooh, new coffee. Whoa. Try our new coffee. Yeah. Hardy's because it tastes better. Now, your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Melissa Hall. We didn't see much sunshine at all today, and in fact, we didn't see any tomorrow, looking to be a lot like today, except we're expecting winter weather. Here's what we got going on. There's that Arctic front we've been talking about. Now, we have some saving grace with this. We have what's called zonal flow going on. Notice how it's just going straight across. So the bulk of this, it's going to miss us. Those people up in Missouri, Kansas City, St. Louis, the ones who keep getting impacted by these systems, they yet again are going to be seeing the snow. And it's starting to track, but as you can see, a little of it is going to end up 
potentially clipping us. We could see a half an inch up to two inches coming in. Now, we do have a winter weather advisory in place until noon tomorrow. What we're expecting is to see that system pushing in. We've already got some fog and some mist outside. If you've been outside, you've noticed it. Well, temperatures are hovering right around freezing. As that front pushes in, we're going to see a slight switch over from that rain to sleet to then snow. Now, we're, here's that freezing line. This is what's going to make all the difference in the world. As this system moves in and that rain and that drizzle keeps hanging on, we're going to watch that switch over happen right around 3 a.m. Now, it happens so fast, and then that snow, it's here in the morning and moves out just as quickly. So by tomorrow afternoon, we are going to see skies clearing. However, that cold freezing line, it doesn't come back above freezing until several days from now. So things looking very chilly after this system. We're expecting, like I said, about a half an inch up to an inch and a half, two inches, depending on where you are. What happens first, though, is that freezing drizzle, like I mentioned, and look at the temperatures coming in with this. It's already 12 below in Bismarck, but the wind chills after this front moves through and after the winter weather is gone, the snow is out of here, well, we're going to be stuck with that snow sticking around on the ground, no pun intended, because look at the wind chills. It's zero in Dodge City. It is 11 below in Denver. Here, by Monday morning, it's going to be feeling like it's seven below for many of us, so things get very cold on the back of this. Here's how it plays out. This is 3 a.m. There's that freezing line. You can see the rain in the river valley. Now, it's going to want to stay mainly rain south of I-40, but in between the tunnel and I-40, we could see a light dusting, but the bigger impacts are going to be felt where we do have that winter weather advisory. I think this is overdone. I don't think we see as much snow as this is putting out. I don't think we quite get to two inches because that zonal flow has things off to our north. However, that freezing line and the moisture in the air, we could see, like I said, a half an inch up to an inch. Make sure you have the NWA Weather Authority app because those temperatures, we wake up close to the single digits Monday morning, and this could be problematic not just for church tomorrow, but by Monday morning with us waking up with things feeling like they're several degrees below zero, we might even be dealing with that winter weather by then as well. So get the NWA Weather Authority app. If we have church closings, if we have school closings, we are right there on top of it and we'll push it out so you and your family will know about it. Now, the cold air is just the beginning. We're going to see that snow ending in the early afternoon, so it should be out of here right around noon, Kelly, and then the temperatures just plummet through the day. We see our warmest temperatures overnight tonight, things tanking through the day. We wake up Monday with dangerous wind chills. Things don't get back to average until Friday. And coincidentally, this last Friday, as meteorologists kicked spring off, March the 1st marks our first day of, meteor of meteorological spring. Well, this upcoming Friday, we're finally back to average, but as you can see, we got some spring like rain to go along with it. So, yeah, I was going to say, it doesn't seem like it's spring because it's so cold these next few days. Well, officially, the equinox for spring is March 20th, but like I said, us meteorologists started it Friday, mm -hmm. but this is definitely a very winter like forecast, and tomorrow it could potentially bring some impacts your travel. So make sure you have our app to stay on top of this. I'm going to have to take out my snow boots tomorrow Absolutely. to get to work. All right. Thanks I know so much. You got Melissa. Them. <laughs> I sure do. A big day on the hill for the Arkansas men's basketball program, honoring the 1994 national championship team and a big win over Ole Miss at Bud, at Bud Walton. Your Pig Troll Nation report is next. Join the conversation. Like the KNWA Facebook page now. Arby's two for five crispy and Cajun fish sandwiches feature fillets of Alaskan Pollock that are a little too big for the bun. This was not a mistake. You're welcome. Arby's, we have the meat for sandwiches. Nothing says spring like fresh flowers, so let's promote our spring travel deal on ChoiceHotels.com like this. Earn one free night when you stay just twice this spring. Allergies. Or bought a book, bought a boom. Book now at ChoiceHotels.com. For 50 years, Cracker Barrel has been making folks feel right at home with meals like homestyle country fried steak, grandma's sampler, and our signature chicken and dumplings. So come on home to what you love. Come on home to Cracker Barrel. 
You may be the lucky one who spins their way to one million bucks at Cherokee Casino West Salem Springs. It's Millionaire March. Each Saturday, one name will be drawn hourly from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. for a chance to spin the triple wheel and win up to one million dollars. Earn entries daily March 1st through the 30th. And don't miss live shows from Cole Ford, Sugar Ray, Reckless Kelly, and Wade Hayes. Only at Cherokee Casino and Hotel West Salem Springs. Your story starts here. It's 3 a.m. in the Bronx, New York. I'm on the corner of 187th and Belmont Avenue. This was my neighborhood. This is a Bronx tale. Directors Robert De Niro and Jerry Zaks bring Chaz Palminteri's story to life. A real tale of family, loyalty, and love. It's Jersey Boys meets West Side Story. A Bronx Tale, the musical. At Walton Arts Center, February 26th through March 3rd. Tickets at waltonartscenter.org. Reuben, loaded Italian, market fresh turkey ranch and bacon. Three sandwiches that are always on the menu at... It's a secret. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Arby's, we have the meat. For sandwiches. Now, from Fayetteville, high on the hill, this is your Pick Trail Nation report. Sponsored by Crane Automotive Team. The last win for the men's basketball team came back on February 5th at home against Vanderbilt. It's easy to see it's been a tough six-game stretch for the Hogs, but today, a back-and-forth battle finally going Arkansas's way. Mason Jones, six threes today for the Hogs off the bench. Arkansas, 11 for 20 from the free throw line, but Daniel Gafford making two down the stretch when it mattered most. When we've talked to these guys in the past, execution has kept them from winning games, but they Executed when they needed to today, defeating Ole Miss, who came in six and or nine and six in conference play, 74-73, the final. With more after the game, here's Tara Talmadge. Alyssa, 21 lead changes today between Arkansas and Ole Miss, but the Razorbacks coming out on top with a game-winning layup by Jalen Harris on a play that wasn't even drawn up for him. The play was designed for Dan initially, so once I seen Dan wasn't open, I dribbled over Isaiah. He rolled his foot. When he rolled his foot, his man had stopped playing and it just opened up the lane. So I knew, like, working out with Belton and T-Top, uh, they always preached to me, get the ball high or it's going to get blocked, so I just went with my instinct and put the ball in there, and it went a Mike Irwin joining me now. Mike, thoughts on this game? You know, the, the difference for Arkansas, points in the paint, 34 points in the paint, that's what you have to do if you're this team. You can't hit all those jump shots. you got to score inside. They did a great job of that. The counterpoint of that is they let Ole Miss score 34 points in the paint. Their interior defense was not good. But this came down to that layup and then the screw-up by the Ole Miss uh, big guy down here. And that's a national championship team as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, Daniel Gafford said, I don't think we win this game without them here. Yeah. So they were a huge factor in this game. Big game for them, breaking the losing streak as well. Up next for Arkansas is Vanderbilt. For Mike Irwin, I'm Tara Talmadge. Alyssa, back to you. Tara, Mike, thank you. Game three of the Diamond Hogs series with Stony Brook this afternoon, trying to get the sweep of the Seawolves uh, sea at Baum Walker Stadium. Here in the first, Sean Buckhout to right field. The Seawolves out to a quick 2-0 lead in the first after that RBI, but in the bottom of the first, Casey Opitz here pops it to left. It is going to drop in, and Trevor Ezell is going to score from third. The Hogs grab a 3-2 lead. Now, it was 4-3 in the fourth. Hogs have had enough of this close game, so it's time to open it up. Christian Franklin to right center. That's going to score Jack Kenley, make it 5-3 later in the inning. Trevor Ezell sending this one over the right center field wall. The Hogs plate five in the fourth and got the bats going. The final here, 15-7 over Stony Brook. They get the sweep. Here's Dave Van Horn. Played 10 games. Uh, we haven't played our best baseball by any means. We just played good enough to win in some and uh, pitched really well in most. And, you know, we, we're not swinging the bats great yet. We're just swinging it okay, but we've got some timely hits. Next up for Arkansas, a two-game series with Charlotte starting on Tuesday. That's going to do it for your Picture on Nation report. Let's head back to you. All right, thanks so much, Alyssa. A new trend could be changing the food industry forever. How it's taken one restaurant from a local food joint to an empire. That's coming up next on KNWA News at 10.
It's everything Northwest Arkansas. Like the Good Day NWA Facebook page now. Join us Monday where we'll have your top headlines, including how one local college will host a festival focusing on arts and culture. And your morning commute could be an icy one. Rick Catsby is back with a look at traffic and your week-long forecast. See you Monday. I love it when someone really listens. Coco! Like my Serta Pro painters. They listened and answered all my questions about painting my home. Bye -bye worked around my crazy schedule, provided expert service, and kept me informed with daily updates. I am so happy with Serta Pro and my beautifully painted home. I'm having them paint my office, too. Coco, sit. Serta Pro Painters. We do painting. You do life. Get a free home estimate at SertaPro.com. There's energy in Fort Smith. It's got a great economic development team uh, and our partnership with them where we market together. It's also about the business partners just like OG&E. We've recruited and secured over $700 million in new capital investment and 6,000 new jobs. Can you feel that? Can you feel the vibe? Can you feel that wave of positive energy? For most of the people that walk in our store, it's been an ongoing, non-stop issue. And they're finally walking into the Good Feet store. Okay, the, the guy that came into my store last year that has had plantar fasciitis for 30 years. I looked at him, I said, are you kidding me? I've been here for 14, where have you been? I helped relieve a problem that's plagued him for 30 years. I mean, how do you not go home and talk about that? See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. In case you missed it, we had a week full of food on Good Day in WA. That's right, from National Chili Day to Girl Scout cookies to Mardi Gras treats. Yes, we love to eat. We do. Don't miss all the tasty treats weekday afternoons at 1230 on Good Day in WA. You're watching KNWA News at 10. Well, what are you doing for dinner tonight? These days, there's a good chance your dinner is being delivered. One study shows that among Americans who eat restaurant food, a whopping 86% order delivery at least once a month. Now, a company that disrupted one industry is disrupting another. KNWA's Jacob Ward explains. Lunch rush at Sci Pi Pizzeria in Chicago is different. The phone is silent. No one is in here eating. But this pizza joint is not just a pizza joint. It's a one-building empire. Uh, eight restaurants. Eight virtual restaurants, one brick-and-mortar, Simon Pizzeria. Out of, this, pizzeria. Out of this, this storefront? Out of this storefront, right. It's unbelievable. Yes. Simon McHale's eight restaurants are made possible by Uber's food division. We have huge amounts of data. Being able to take that information to those local restaurants and saying, hey, you already have the kitchen. Let's add some new things to your menu. Yes. Uber Eats pitched McHale this way. Hey, Simon, we have a lot of people requesting fried chicken in your neighborhood. And you didn't just add this as a menu item, you're basically making a whole new restaurant out of whole that idea. Restaurant. Now, McHale's business is almost entirely virtual. Out of 100 deliveries a day, we'll get three, four of them that will be calling our phone number. And the rest are online. The rest are all online orders. The data-driven buffet of Uber Eats is programmed by what customers have asked for. But what if a neighborhood has only had access to unhealthy food? What you're doing when you provide even more convenience to bad food choices is giving people efficiency of making a bad decision. Uber Eats says it can spot a need for healthy food and bring it to communities if demand is there. For a restaurant in a community that is lacking a bunch of healthy food choices, we're saying to that restaurant, here's a way to meet an unmet demand. And in the meantime, virtual restaurants will keep growing. Mikhail can imagine someday having no tables at all. Honestly, if restaurants right now are not are not adapting to this new way of virtual restaurants, they're not going to be in business. A model for the future. More of the food you love, no matter what it is. Yeah. Uber, ready to go. Oh, very interesting story there. Stay with us. Meteorologist Melissa Hall is back after the break with a final check of your weekend weather. Stick around. Furniture and Mattresses is proud to sponsor KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.
find amazing deals store-wide during the wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row. Every sofa, every dining table, and every bed is on sale. Plus, four years, no interest. The wall-to-wall -wall sale, only at Furniture Row. Bob's life fell apart after a significant wage reduction at work. His home was put into foreclosure. Creditors obtained a judgment against him garnishing his paychecks. Cadell Reynolds helped Bob file bankruptcy to get his life back on track. We stopped the garnishment and recovered his wages. If you have bankruptcy questions, call Cadell Reynolds today for a free consultation. Call Cadell Reynolds at 800-671-4100. Make the right call. In high school, people described me as bright, hardworking, and dedicated. That I had a big heart because I care about people and doing the right things. Now, everywhere I look, I see an entire community just like that. Learning more, doing more, and caring more. A community of mission, Harding University. In case you missed it, we had a week full of food on Good Day in WA. That's right, from National Chili Day to Girl Scout cookies to Mardi Gras treats. Yes. We love to eat. We do. Don't miss all the tasty treats weekday afternoons at 1230 on Good Day in WA. From pioneers paving the way. I had to open the doors for some others who would follow. To women inspiring the next generation. Sharing personal stories and empowering each other. Celebrating women. Online now on NWAHomepage.com. Find amazing deals store-wide during the wall-to-wall -wall sale at Furniture Row. Every sofa, every dining table, and every bed is on sale. Plus, four years, no interest. The wall-to-wall -wall sale, only at Furniture Row. All right, Melissa, we're already seeing a wintry mix already. Well... Not necessarily here, off to the north we are here. We are prime for it though because we have some fog and some drizzle outside and we are about two degrees above freezing. And you know, that makes all the difference in the world. We saw several mm -hmm. wrecks the last couple of mornings because we had right. that freezing drizzle. Well, what we're expecting tomorrow, you're gonna need the NWA Weather Authority app for because we're probably gonna see closings out of this. We're looking at a half an inch to two inches moving in overnight tonight. The way it happens is that for, um, mist that we have right now, we're going to see some rain developing, and when that cold front comes in and hits that, we're going to see some sleet come in and then snow switch over. By Monday, we're looking at dangerous wind chills. We are going to have temperatures tanking through the day. It is just a very frigid forecast, so make sure you stay safe the next couple yep, of days. We'll be tracking this all night. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.